What's up, YouTube? I'm going to give you an overview of this full uh, electronics and audio package you did in this beautiful, beautiful regulator. It's a 26FS limited edition. Got a full Garmin package, JL, audio, fusion, all the good stuff. Uh, first thing I'll show you is we did the Lumitech Seablaze 3 underwater lights. Transom there. Blue in color. Alright, go ahead and jump inside here. Take my shoes off. Alright. At the helm, we have twin Garmin 7612 GPS map chart plotters and the Garmin GHC20 autopilot and a custom cut starboard dash we did. Routed it, finished it. Just a little like factory, but better. As you can see there. Um, it's got the GSD24 sounder, the new GXM53 weather, and let's see here. Let me show you some stuff. Chart plot on one, radar on the other, and your autopilot on a nice smooth beautiful dash there we go up top we did the same thing we removed the factory plate and put a nice new starboard face plate router to match factory lines uh, we also installed a fusion uh, MSUD 750 uh, stereo system which powers a uh, pretty massive audio system in here. Start up front, we got the JLM 650s tucked up under there. That was fun to do. Got those in. Coming back, we got the 88, everybody's favorite. There are those. Going back. And you can see in this picture we got the M77s and the massive 12 inch JL Audio subwoofer. That thing jams. Um, up top, another pair of M6.5s. Um, also, you can see in the picture that we did the Lumitech Prairie Lights. White, red, blue. Um, also, back here we did the Lumitech floodlights. Those are really nice. Made a custom starboard plate for those. Those are nice. These are the Capreras. These are the Orbit downlights, I'm sorry. The Orbits, and the Caprera 2s. Flush mount. Uh, starboard plate. Cover that big ugly hole by the old halogen deck lights. Um, also, what we did. Let's see here. The blue LED strip lighting in the gunnels. That's a really nice feature at night when you're cruising rivers and whatnot. Looks good, looks good. As you can see, that switch is faulty. We're about to redo this whole switch panel for the customer. He bought a brand new one from Regulator. We're going to replace this and the main harness in the boat. Um, I'll show you some of the strip lighting underneath there. And you can see the strip lighting all the way down the gunnels. Alright, let's go ahead and jump in the console here. Alright. Here's the back of the Garmin units. Uh, here's the massive JL Audio 8-channel amplifier power in the system. Uh, here we have the GMS-10 network expander. There's the Neiman system over there. And it's part of the GXM-53 weather system there. Okay, on down here. We have... Pro Mariner battery charger. And there's the autopilot computer there with the shadow drive, 
and a, there's the right compass up there. You can see the massive GSD24 in the back there. Alright, going out here. I'll show you the uh, underwater lights here. Put a switch in here. Also start a dual USB charger for your iPhones or whatever you want to plug in there. And you can see there's the underwater lights. Shining real nice. Looking real good. And that about does it. So, we'll show you another video soon when we do this switch plate. Kind of go over that and what the process was. But uh, please like my page, my Facebook page, More Marine, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, More Marine, as well. Uh, we got lots of videos coming. We're going to do some how to, some troubleshooting videos, some more product reviews, and just some cool boating stuff. So thanks again. My name is Jeff with More Marine, and I'll talk to you next time.